Sorry about that short interruption. Twitch deciding to cut me off uh, for a short moment. And here we are continuing episode 28, or sorry, episode 32. I don't know why I have the number 28 stuck in my head. This is episode 32 of XCW. We are just past six months here in XCW's history. We uh, Next week we'll be showcasing the tag team gauntlet. The question is, will the Disciples of Darkness, after six months of being champions and never losing those tag team titles, will they be able to somehow survive each and every team that will be there? We know for sure at the moment of still only two official teams that are going to be in the gauntlet. We know the NWO Wolfpack will have a team in the gauntlet. We know the Vigilantes will also be represented in that gauntlet but the question is, will other tag teams step up? Will other tag teams form before uh, our gauntlet, before episode 34 begins? Exactly how many teams will they face will be left up to uh, the management to decide which teams are worthy of facing them. But it definitely will be interesting to see if anybody can finally take those titles off of the Disciples of Darkness. And remember, this is a gauntlet match. The gauntlet match does not end when the Disciples of Darkness are defeated. No, no. They are over when the last team to enter the gauntlet uh, is either defeated or defeats the final opponent left in the ring. But here tonight, we are going to see the United States number one contendership decided between Kirby and Black Widow. That will be a great matchup later on tonight. That will be the main event of Raw. But we also see the first round of the Undisputed Championship Elimination Tournament to determine who will fight Brian Tornado Nash at the next pay-per-view. And a huge spine buster right there by Youngblood. Omega able to block an attack by JS. Oh, no, he's going for those triple Germans. One, two, and here comes the third. JS could be in trouble as Omega flips him over to go for the pinfall but I think his feet were under the ropes had to let go right there and it immediately Youngblood hits, hits that huge hip toss Omega kicking out quickly Tyrant Seven. does Darth Vader voice no <laughs> Seven oh two one forty four. Yes, we are back here to entertain the XCW masses. Whether you are a member of the XCW universe, whether you are a fan of the XCW universe, or if you're simply somebody stopping through, seeing what XCW is all about. And right there, you saw again another man able to make contact with two. Oh, oh! I thought he was going to hit him square with that uh, suplex. Youngblood almost landed a suplex right on those steel steps. But luckily for JS was not able to do so. Omega trying to steal the victory right out from under Youngblood right there. After those triple suplexes, took him a moment. Oh, and that suplex onto the steel steps almost knocks him out of the ring there on the verge of slipping out underneath those ropes. So I assume since XCW is allowing supervillains from comic books, then why would you Technically, he is not. Uh, obviously, he looks nothing like the Joker in terms of physical physique. He is simply using the Joker-style face paint and a Joker-inspired uh, Joker attire. He's not actually like in full body suit, green long hair or green short hair and look exactly like any of the specific Jokers, so I wouldn't necessarily say that that is, in fact, uh, crazy. We do have a guy who actually emulates superheroes to a degree, again, using the inspiration from superheroes. So each person that is creative, personally, I uh, like this attire from JS more without the entrance attire in particular, but uh, the actual superstar itself in-ring attire, I think, is uh, pretty good for... JS 
Hold on, big tag team move here from Omega and JS picking up the much smaller Youngblood. These two men might be the two largest members of the XCW universe. Be original or don't be here. <laughs> Right here, nice stomping on each body part here by Omega Youngblood, watching from behind quickly, throwing him outside the ring. No, pulls him back and hits a huge jumping knee to the face, dragging him to the center of the ring now. What is he setting up? That moon, that corkscrew moonsault, a standing corkscrew moonsault from Youngblood, only to receive that lariat from JS. And right there, we see a huge, crushing scoop slam from Omega. I think he might have been going for a signature move right there as JS was able to block it. A big chop to the chest of Omega, but Omega was able to uh, block the attack from JS. JS currently dazed, finally breaks the daze as Youngblood goes for the pinfall. Only gets a one, though. JS did not have to make the save right there. Hold on, Youngblood with that huge hip toss. Instead of going for the pinfall, trying to keep the attack on Omega. What is this? Oh, that, oh, whew. That reverse crazy spinning STO right there. Busted open the head of JS. That might, in fact, give him exactly what he wanted, motivation. He is insane enough that maybe he wanted to see his own blood here tonight. But right now, Omega is throwing Youngblood into that steel post, leaving him crushed and crumpled in the corner. Youngblood still not up as Omega is locking in the submission hold, this claw hold on JS. But quickly, Youngblood was able to get up just in time to get over there and block that submission from making JS tap out. The non-stop action phenom looking interested in XCW. Hold on, again broken up by JS. CJ gets thrown out of the building. <laughs> Things are about to get sinister. Again, the NXT superstar sinister are uh, definitely viable superstars in NXT as we have quite a few tag teams on that brand, but this is the XCW main roster. Hold on, Omega going for a huge powerbomb combination. One, two, three. Omega wins this matchup. You just saw JS powerbomb Youngblood. Both men laid out flat at the end of this matchup as Omega is the fourth man in the undisputed four-way elimination tournament. What a great match this was between these gentlemen. But in the end, that great powerbomb pinning combination from Omega was the move that ended this. And JS picks up a second loss since his comeback. Sadly, unable to keep things going or get things going his way again. Saw that powerbomb earlier from Omega. A few more moves here. JS. Again, he was breaking up moves left and right. You see Youngblood laid out completely out of it right there and right here. This was the finishing maneuver, able to lock in that pin combination after hitting a vicious powerbomb. And Omega is the fourth man in the undisputed Fatal 4-Way Elimination Tournament. The Wolfpack Alpha won. The L in Wolfpack is also a one. Image, can I do double duty? I don't know if we're going to have enough uh, spaces for you to do double duty here tonight, JS. Hopefully, the universe did not change any of our matches going forward. And here tonight, we see the United States champion, Sammy Danger, facing our European champion, Anthony. This should be a great matchup between these two gentlemen. It seems to be becoming a tradition here in XCW, where we see the United States champion taking on the European champion every month after these titles were debuted. <clears throat> 
So my trivia question here for this break, remember, send it to my gamer tag, ImageMaker, or onto me on the website to Image, a.k.a. the broadcaster. Uh, who were the, what was the first combination of United States champion versus European champion in the same match? Tell me who those two superstars were when we had the very first champion versus champion match between those championship belts here in XCW. Lexington Fayette, Kentucky, the United States champion, Samuel Danger. Apparently, Doc Hypnotic not happy with uh, the Joker attire from JS. Still going on about it in the chat box. Sammy Danger now heading toward his second full month as United States champion. We will find out later tonight who will face him one-on-one -on -one at Capital Punishment. Will it be Kirby, the man formerly known as ISIS, or will it be the one of XCW's newest superstars, Black Widow, who defeated Kirby last week on Saturday night main event? And here is your, your European champion, Anthony. He is definitely ready to compete here tonight in singles action. We saw him last week defeat Jake Watson one-on-one, -on -one, and a lot of members of XCW probably did not think twice about that. But maybe it was meant a lot more as we saw Jake Watson defeat the former two-time undisputed champion, Mike Miles, in our first matchup of the evening. So maybe Anthony's accomplishment last week really meant a lot more than it seemed at the time. Here we go, jumping straight into the action here. And this one should blow the roof off the house. A bit of a test of strength here. All right, now Anthony's slipping behind. Sammy taking him down to the ground, hitting this side headlock on the ground, but a great leg scissors uh, attempt to get out of that submission hold right there, and Anthony able to break it off, get out of that leg scissors. Both men again clinching up in the center of the ring. A quick uh, arm lock here, switched around, got one of his own, no. Instead, attacks the elbow of Anthony with Sammy Danger. Sammy Danger, though, in trouble as Anthony's able to get a little bit of leverage here. Now hits a nice suplex, sending Sammy spine first to the ground. And there's the reversal. Oh. Did you hear how his leg connected? <clears throat> King just believes saying we want tables. I'm not sure why he's saying a table chance. Right here, nice. Vicious attacks by Anthony, stomping the chest of Sammy Danger repeatedly. Now what is he doing here? Got a front face headlock. It's tripped up, though, from Sammy Danger. Sammy now going to attack the knee, the interior of the knee of Anthony. Anthony back to his feet. Both men there, but a grapple from Sammy Danger, setting something up in the corner. Now, no, he comes out of the corner, went for a diving lariat as Anthony stumbled toward him but he actually misses his, uh, his lariat attempt. Still doing a good job of reversing Anthony here tonight though. Hold on, lifting him up, smashing him hard into the ground. United States champion gets a reverse right there, gets a knee to the gut, but able to reverse on his own, throwing Anthony back over the top rope, and then throwing him from the apron to inside of the ring. Staying on top for quite a while now is Sammy Danger. Danger ducking under that clothesline attempt, and he hits a, a Larry of his own. I think he wants us to know that he is the real deal. 
pin attempt here from Sammy Danger. One, just a one count. Two early. Anthony able to break up that pinfall, but a slap across the face and then a huge haymaker taking Anthony down. What is Sammy Danger doing? He's going to go take apart our announce table here. You can see our ringside announcers scattering for their lives as Sammy Danger decides to dismantle the announcer's table right there. Anthony clubbing him across the chest, followed up by that huge big boot. Is this going to put Sammy Danger in trouble? And he's heading back inside the ring. Wow. Great stomps the there by... <clears throat> you know what? I might just make a Looney Tunes uh, character now. Make a Bugs Bunny character just to bug you guys. <laughs> And a sleeper hold applied by Anthony. Sammy could be in trouble. Sammy, Sammy is not tapped so far. And oh, hits a huge jawbreaker. Uses the bad positioning by Anthony. Able to uh, fight out of that middle. Now going for these signature punches. Can he hit that third wind-up punch? He does. Anthony crashes to the ground. Now he's dragging Anthony. He should go for the pinfall immediately. Taking all this time to turn him over might allow Anthony. Whoa, Anthony kicking out at a one, not even a two count. Immediately, the very upset Sammy Danger goes over there and DDTs the head of Anthony back into the mat. Sammy goes for a drop kick in the corner. Anthony able to avoid it. Anthony now grabbing him around the waist, pulling him to the center of the ring. And goes for a huge inverted atomic drop right there. Very painful move. Hold on. STO, the reverse STO from Anthony. One, two. Oh, almost the first European champion to defeat a United States champion in action. So far, every time that these two champions have faced off against each other, the United States champion and European champion, Whoever was the United States champion came out on top. That streak almost broken right there. Did you hear the impact from that clothesline? Right now we're seeing Anthony once again throw Bryant. I mean, oh, oh my gosh. Sammy Danger gets thrown up into the air, and that has got to be it as long as his hand is not under the rope. Oh! I shouldn't have jinxed it there. Sammy Danger's feet under the ropes here tonight. And uh, lucky as all as Anthony had that one for sure. Launching Sammy in the air, catching him on his way down with that RKO. Definitely thought that that was going to be the loss right there. Sammy has tapped before. Our champion, Brian Tornado Dash, in the comment box. And that's a shot that could Huge drop kick sleep. there from, uh, hold on, what is he going? Setting up a finishing maneuver. It looks pretty far away, runs at him, jumps up and hits an RKO. We saw one from Anthony earlier this time. We see one from Sammy Danger both times, though. Both been able to get a, an arm underneath the bottom rope and not allow that to be the final moments of the match. We're back to square one. Both of these men have hit finishers. Neither one able to pick up the victory on them. I think he went for that huge, uh, uh, maybe a big boot from Anthony. Ducking under it was Sammy Danger going for the pinfall now. One, two, that Lariat not able to pick up the pinfall. What a shot. He drops the elbow. Right now, Sammy definitely taking it to Anthony. Anthony hits a huge haymaker and sets up for that STO. That could be it. That might be too much for our United States champion. One, two, three. That is it. Anthony becomes the very first European champion to defeat the standing United States champion in one-on-one -on -one action.
Definitely a great matchup between these two gentlemen. Both men hit RKO finishers, but neither one picks up the win until that reverse STO slams the face of Sammy Danger into the mat for a second time. One, two, three. Anthony picked up the victory. Doc Hypnotic knowing if we can get the, the Wonder Twins as tag team champions. Here is your winner, Anthony. As I said, here is your winner. Anthony did win this matchup. Again, one more time, the first standing European champion to defeat the standing United States champion and one on one action. Maybe Anthony, besides winning this belt, maybe going to bring it a little bit more prestige here in XCW as we move on to our fourth match of the e evening here tonight, folks. This is Brian Tornado Nash, the current undisputed champion, facing the man with the money in the bank briefcase. Probably not going to cash it in here tonight with our competitors facing each other. Tyson probably going to wait till the right opportunity to cash in that money in the bank. But Tyson, uh, to go to our trivia question, anybody, this will be a really easy answer. Really easy one. Probably the easiest one I've done. If you've watched most of our former episodes or really anything in the last month, you should get this question. Alex Tyson is the brother of Johnny Tyson, but he was not originally known as Alex Tyson here in XCW. What is Alex Tyson's original name in XCW? He just changed a couple of weeks ago. So send me in my game to my gamer tag image maker or on the website xcwuniverse.niceboard.com to image aka the broadcaster. Send me the message in one of those two places in the next three minutes that is eleven forty three. What was Alex Tyson's original name here in XCW? Very easy answer. Should be getting a ton of messages. <laughs> and if you can't get that, then I don't know if you are competent enough to be a member of XCW. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> this is his first match ever with their undisputed champion. Brian Nash and Alex Wolf apparently have never faced off in one on one action. They have competed in a Foreign Affairs versus Vigilantes match before, I believe. Seven zero two one four four. Of course, if this is your first episode, you would not know Alex Tyson only having been Alex Tyson for the last few weeks. A huge pyro display here by Alex Tyson on his way to the ring. Alex Tyson is one member of the regenerated, or excuse me, the reinvented DX, DX forming just after our pay-per-view of Vengeance. Tyrant, the leader of the group, decided wanted to form one of the greatest factions of the wrestling industry here in XCW. And that man right there is the second member so far of DX. I'm sure there will be more, many more members wanting to join that faction with its lineage in the past and its lore in wrestling history. The question is who is DX after who will DX want accompanying them to the ring? I don't know exactly who they have in mind, but it will be great to see exactly how 
DX fights going forward. And here we go, one on one, our undisputed champion, Brian Nash, the three time undisputed champion, losing his belt twice to Mike Miles in the last couple of months, but immediately in his title rematches, regaining them. So Brian Torna Nash and Alex Tyson, one on one for the very first time. This is definitely sure to be a great match here in XCW as long as the cameraman, the uh, producer backstage should change camera angles. That was a horrible camera angle as the referee was blocking. But right here was a standing Uranagi slam. Great move by Brian Tornado Nash. Did I call him that? Say cheese blazing? Uh, if I did, whoops. <laughs> You will probably join DX. Well, it is up to the uh, leader of DX whether or not you can join. So if you want to contact Tyrant, <laughs> a.k.a. Uh, Chen Doa, blah, 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 something in the – I think he's in the chat. So you can always ask him if he's here. But Tyrant in XCW, his gamer tag is HitmanHeart02. So if you get onto the XCW roster and want to be part of DX, there's always that possibility. Great knockback right there. The huge knee to the gut by Alex Wolf. Now Brian Tornado Nash setting something, setting something up in the center of the ring, going for that vicious power bomb, and he lands it hard on Alex Tyson. Madfire says it's weird facing the face of XCW. I guess Brian Tornado Nash would be the face of XCW. Nearly being the champion since its inception, has lost the title twice. It was not our original XCW champion, though. That happens to go to the man named Russell Worth. Russell Worth lost the title in his first ever title defense, though, to Brian Tornado Nash at our first pay-per-view, Bad Blood. <clears throat> and uh, now we're going to find out exactly if Brian Nash has lost any steps or if maybe Alex Tyson is really stepping up his game. That money in the briefcase looming over the head of whoever the undisputed champion is at the time. Currently, Brian Nash definitely wants to send a message here to Alex Tyson here tonight. Oh my God! Almost picked up a win again. I think off that uh, a non-signature or finisher. Hold on! Oh, huge spear here. You saw him take a couple steps back in order to get enough momentum, but only uh, not even a one count actually. Just. Just a pin attempt from Brian Nash. Hold on. Signature move by Alex Tyson. Returning the favor to Nash. One, two, just a two count there. Brian Nash back to his feet. Both been hit signatures within about 20 seconds of each other. Hold on. It lifts him up in the air going for an F5. Crashed hard to the ground as Tyson. This could be it. One, two, Three, that is it. Brian Tornado Nash, after eating a signature of Alex Tyson, who actually got a two count on the Undisputed Champion. Brian Nash angrily, quickly got back to his feet, picked him up in the air quickly, and threw him down hard to the mat with that F5, crushing the spear tonight of Alex Tyson. Definitely sending a message to that Money in the Bank holder. If you're going to take my title from me, it's not going to be that easy. He's definitely going to have to probably set up a trap or wait until Brian Torrey Nash is exhausted after a extremely tough matchup in order to take that title from him. Here is your winner, representing the villagers, Brian Tornado Nashville. Now let's be honest. This one wasn't even close. Oh, yeah. Great matchup between <clears throat> the man who of many attires, Alex Tyson, the one half of the current DX here at XCW, and that man, one third of our faction known as the Vigilantes, <clears throat> still your undisputed champion, is Brian Tornado Nash. Moving on now to our next matchup. Semi oh, whoops, crap. I have to exit out of it because I had Brian Tornado Nash as a placeholder till I knew who won that triple threat match. So now we've got five minutes to kill while it loads these four entrances. <laughs> okay, <sighs> trivia time. 
for the XCW chat box. Brian Tornado saying GM. I don't know if that's supposed to be mean me. Uh, Brian Tornado Nash uh, in the chat box asked me questions. Can't see what you said there. Still off screen. Yes, so strange. Okay, going to ask a trivia question now as this loads a match that's not actually going to happen quite yet. Because uh, I've got to replace Brian Nash with uh, Omega. <clears throat> <laughs> Didn't sleep all night. Madfire, you need to go to bed so you can be ready to go to school in like an hour or two hours, however long it is till you go to school. <clears throat> Trying to think of a trivia question real quick. Okay, I forgot skipping these entrances. Uh, so here is your trivia question. Justin Sane has competed in how many undisputed championship matches? How many undisputed championship matches has Justin Sane competed in? Send it to my inbox or send it to me. Image, I told you ten times. It's blank. It's bank holiday Monday, which means that's cool. That doesn't mean anything to me. Mad fire. <laughs> and yes, I just simply forgot. Oh, I gotta skip all these entrances. When did this show start? It actually started about just after eleven o'clock. Normally this is I think this is my latest start I've ever had. Are you ready? And Brian, uh you were at twenty four correct answers before the start of the show. So I'm pretty certain you will have your twenty five before the night is over. Agent and Doc, I'm mean, gonna have to kill you guys for continuously talking about the superhero guy, the one guy wearing a Joker inspired attire. That's like I don't know why that's annoying me. <laughs> Brian Nash is not coming back out here for another title match. I mean for another match. I've got to quit this match so I can put in Omega, who won the right to be in this fatal four way match. <laughs> I can I can answer this question for you, Doc Hypnotic and Answer Mayhem. Okay, a trivia question for just those two guys. How many uh superheroes are there in XCW? And the question is one more than there are syn syndicate members in XCW. Sinister Syndicate having zero members currently on the XCW roster and superheroes have one. So therefore superheroes are better than the Sinister Syndicate. <laughs> technically not even a hero, technically a villain, but whatever. Superhero style character. Okay, uh, now that I've managed to waste even more time. <laughs> let me jump back in here. Justin saying is a member of this match. So is Alpha 1. So is Tyrant. But the fourth man in this match is actually going to be Omega. There he is, Omega. Four men ready to compete in action. Should be a great matchup between these gentlemen. Go ahead and save it and then start up the match. No, no, Agent Mayhem, as you are technically part of the XCW universe, you are not on XCW. <laughs> there are one more superhero characters on the XCW roster than there are Sinister, uh, whatever, Syndicate members in XCW. You are in NXT, not on the XCW roster. <laughs> There's only one person inspired. 
Well, no, because if you haven't noticed, Richard Knight has not competed over the last few episodes, and we don't know if he has changed his attire or not. So only one current member active in XCW is a superhero character. Therefore, I am still right, and you are wrong. <laughs> okay, here we go. Finally able to watch this Fatal 4 match, which will take another five minutes to load as it is four separate entrances. I can't read the end of your comment, Agent Mayhem. Here is the man, Justin Sane, was the uh, man who actually pinned Brian Tornado Nash in that elimination chamber. Still has yet to capitalize on doing so as he has not obtained that undisputed championship. He got to fight in a triple threat match between Brian Tornado Nash and Mike Miles at our pay-per-view Vengeance. He was the odd man out getting pinned by the former undisputed champion Mike Miles to lose that matchup. Not happy about that loss. We saw him pick up a victory last week, winning here tonight to pick up yet another win and stay in this elimination tournament. Remember, only the man who gets pinned here in this matchup will be eliminated. The other three men will move on to next week. A triple threat and the eliminations will continue. You think the small soldier should join with Green Arrow and Joker and name the faction so unoriginal. <laughs> so unoriginal. And here is Alpha One, a member of the Wolfpack, has been trying to get a championship here in XCW, constantly failing. He fought for the Undisputed Championship in a elimination chamber match, was the first man eliminated, had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity last month at Vengeance against Sammy Danger. But again, once again, part of the Wolfpack came up short. Wolfpack members, in fact, the Six Dynasty two members, the tag team of the Wolfpack and Alpha One have still completely, as a group, come up short in all of their championship matches. But maybe things can turn around. Maybe Alpha One can actually do the impossible and climb the ladder here in XCW and become the undisputed champion, not only winning the belt but taking away a, the title from their rival group the vigilantes it would be an impressive feat for alpha one but in order to do that he has to make sure that he is not the man eliminated here tonight yeah i think the only two i think only these two people have that theme song Thank you for putting up the XCW official website, Madfire, into the chat box. For anybody who wants to jump onto the website. And here is the leader of D Generation X, Tyrant. Tyrant has fought for the European Championship unsuccessfully, gaining that title. <sighs> we have seen him uh, have a great feud with Alex Tyson and a, a kind of combination feud with Omega. In the end, he defeated Omega in that Extreme Rules match. He was attacked by Omega when he still defeated Alex Tyson at Vengeance in that Three Stages of Hell match. And then last week, we saw actually the man Alex Tyson be the man to come out with that Money in the Bank triple threat victory. 
He is the man now carrying that briefcase around while Tyson and Omega are in this matchup here tonight. Maybe Alex will have to take the championship off of that man. What happens if Tyrant is able to climb the ladder, defeat these three men in this tournament, go on to defeat Brian Tornado Nash at Capital Punishment? Would his partner in DX, Alex Tyson, cash in the briefcase on his own partner? Or would he simply wait until somebody else took the title off of him? I don't know, but this will definitely be an interesting setup if Tyrant can be the man to walk out of this tournament, the number one contender. Hey, uh, Mayhem, I guess you've never noticed the Nightwing on the pants of our undisputed champion or on his secondary attire having Miss Marl and uh, Spider-Man on the attire. Now, they're not really attires that are mimicking or attempting to be them. They simply have pictures of those superhero characters on the attire. <laughs> and right there, Omega coming out to the ring tonight. Definitely one of the most impressive debuts in XCW. Three straight victories to start his career. Took interference from Alex Tyson and a brutal spinebuster onto a ladder to finally defeat this man in singles competition. We saw him take the loss last week in triple threat action, but earlier tonight won a triple threat match in order to get into this tournament for the number one contendership for the undisputed championship. Will Omega be able to do what he did earlier tonight and weed his way through the competition, making his way for that undisputed title? Definitely an interesting concept of can it happen, will it happen, but uh, I don't know, Omega, even as impressive as he has, has simply only been here for a little over a month. Will he be able to climb the ladder that fast here in XCW? Personally, I doubt anybody can climb the ladder that fast, but if anybody can, it probably is Omega. There's nothing wrong with somebody wearing... Uh, <laughs> so, Agent Mayhem, so would that make... The guy who plays Finn Balor, I guess what Prince, his name used to be Prince DeVete, used to wear like Venom and Carnage style paint to the ring that makes him unoriginal for wearing that just because if you have a logo of somebody or slightly to a degree, I, I mean, yes, it technically is less original, but uh, doesn't make it less fun or cool in order to have that kind of things on your attire. I mean, not everybody is really good at making their own personal logos. But now, as we move on into XCW, this Fatal 4 way beginning right now between these four gentlemen. Who will be the man eliminated here tonight in this matchup? Well, technically, he uh, changed characters from Johnny Tyson to Alex Wolf, and then simply changed Alex Wolf's name to Alex Tyson. So it's a, only one name switch and one character switch. Ooh, Madfire throwing a shot out at a man who's technically not even debuted on an XCW or NXT show so far. I don't think that the black would have had to do with the Marvel character, more had to do with the black tone to his, uh, like the spider somewhat references to his face paint. I actually forgot about Black Widow having a Venom-esque face paint. Although I'm not sure if it's actually the Venom face paint or if it's simply somewhat in that style. I mean, for, some, for all I know, somebody could, could call the Joker makeup clown makeup and it would technically be wrong. Hold on, big move being set up here by Tyrant. Falls forward, hits that backbreaker on the ribs of uh, Omega. And right now on the opposite side of the ring, we see Justin Sane beating down on Alpha 1. 
Oh, going for a huge bro kick early in this match was just insane. Unable to hit it, though, as Alpha 1 moves out of the way. Tyrant, though, hitting and planting a powerbomb on Omega. Only a two count on Alpha 1 there. Does not want to be the man to get pinned here earlier tonight. This should be a great mini tournament between these four men. One man eliminated per week. It will be four men this week. Three men surviving to defeat each other next week. And then in two weeks' time, right before Capital Punishment, we will find out the final two men will face off one-on-one. -on -one. The winner going on to face Brian Tornado Nash for the Undisputed Championship. In the chat box, let me know who you think it's going to be. Oh, hold on, Seth Walker right there. Alpha 1's in trouble. One, two. Oh, almost getting the pinfall. Tyrant, for some reason, about to save. <clears throat> I guess he wants to be the man to pick up the victory here tonight. All these men still have pride. And though, personally, you know what? I might just let somebody else get the pinfall victory as long as I was still in the running. Hold on. Huge jumping STO or reverse STO right there by Justin Sane. Justin now really taking it to Alpha 1, going for a submission hold, pulling back on the neck, wrenching hard Tyrant. This time actually does save him. Might have been tapping out there. If the elimination matches were simply uh, possible, if there was a four, uh, Fatal 4 elimination match, I would easily do that. But since I can't, I have to make do with what Universe gives me. Or what should I say, WWE 2K15 gives me. Could have done that in 14, not able to do it in 15. Alpha 1 was about to go for a pinfall, but just insane. Gets up with a huge neckbreaker, sending him crashing down to the ground. Tyrant still down. Looks like, hold on. Oh, Justin insane's actually about to hit a finisher when Omega comes over and hits a shoulder-shifting power slam. Now hitting one on Alpha Tyrant. Still down, has not moved in quite a while. Justin Sane picks him up, though. He's got him hooked. A textbook reversal. Can he find nice Russian leg sweep. Justin Sane on the ground. Omega lifting up Alpha 1, hitting a huge backbreaker on his spine. Hold on, Tyron hits that, S, hits that signature move. Almost uh, uh, saves Alpha 1 right there, surprisingly. Omega could have eliminated Alpha 1. But Tyrant saved him for the time being after he hit that signature spine buster on Justin Sane. <clears throat> Hold on, huge shoulder block. Alpha 1 down. Omega turns around. I think Justin might have been going for a signature or finisher, but it was Omega who was faster to the uh, pinfall attempt. Hold on, Tyrant again tries to break it up. Tyrant definitely wants to be the man to pick up the win, not only survive, but he wants to be the man to pick up the victory in this match here tonight. Uh -oh. He's in position, ready to strike. Oh my, look at this. And that was broken up before it could land. Oh, talk about getting flattened. Justice. Hold on, Seth Walker right here, hit it. And the center thing rolls it up for the pin. One, Alpha one there to break it up as Omega was dazed on the ropes. Swinging neckbreaker right there, taking down Alpha One. Hold on, triple Germans. This could be it. Tyrant, the man in trouble right now. Omega turning him over, going for the pinfall. One, no. His feet were in the ropes, forced to kick, I mean, forced to let go of that pinfall right there. Oh, say cheese, and that's not very nice. Hold on. 12 gauge spine buster hit on Omega. Harlem sidekick. One, two, Three, Omega is the man eliminated here tonight. Omega winning the opportunity to join this match as the fourth man and just as quickly as he earned an opportunity for a shot at the undisputed championship, he loses it here tonight. We saw, saw Tyrant a number of times in this matchup. Nobody else seemed to be breaking up pinfalls except for Tyrant. And Tyrant did it for a reason. He wanted to expel his dominance, not over anybody in particular. I mean, not over uh, just anyone, but Omega himself pinning him here tonight, eliminating him from the tournament. 
I don't think the business between Tyrant and Omega is finished just yet. I'm pretty sure if Tyrant can be eliminated from this tournament, Omega will be coming after him. It was a great matchup between these four gentlemen, but that man right there stands victorious here tonight. He is not your number one contender yet, but he did, in fact, secure his bid into the next match next week. Okay, moving on to the next show now. I mean, the next matchup is our main event of the evening for Raw of episode 20, uh, 32 here in XCW. And you can see it is Black Widow with his manager, Paul Bearer, coming to the ring with Kirby and his manager, AJ. AJ has taken over the life of Kirby. <clears throat> okay, here is a question. Uh, a trivia question for you guys. How many weeks was Mohamed Joda, now known mostly as Kirby, how many weeks did he take on the name Isis before finally returning back to his original name of Mohamed Joda, but with a Kirby name added? How many wait, uh, Basically, how many weeks did Isis exist here in XCW? That is the trivia question here for you guys here tonight. Simply the number of episodes it was from when he debuted until he re-debuted as himself again. <clears throat> you have three minutes to meet. It is 12-12. And here comes the man that defeated Kirby last week earning this opportunity. At Vengeance, winning a six-man over-the-top battle royal. One of the men thrown out of that match was this man, Black Widow. Black Widow, the newest member of the XCW roster. Here tonight has a great opportunity if he can defeat Kirby one-on-one -on -one again. Then we will see him fight Sammy Danger at Capital Punishment for that United States Championship. Seems like we have a little bit of lag right now, or at least that's what Twitch is telling me. Might be gone by now. <laughs> Even though I know that Brian Tornado Nash does not know this exact answer, as that was a very tough question of trivia. He still, even though he already, I'm sure he already has his 25 because he only needed one incorrect answer, he still sent me an answer to that question. And here you see Kirby coming down to the ring. He has AJ on the phone with him. And as you see AJ at ringside, but uh, she keeps track of him at all times. Does not want him off that leash that she has him on. We have seen him. If you see, if you notice the back of his shirt, you can see him coming to the ring. It says help across the back. It is definitely uh, debated that uh, AJ has started controlling Kirby each and every week a little bit more at a time. He is wanting to break free of this relationship, but has been unable to do so. Reluctantly still in it as AJ has changed him. A lot of people think it's for the better. That's why probably no one has helped Kirby. The ISIS gimmick that he was had going, everyone hated everyone. Nobody was his friend. Nobody liked him. But now that he has dropped that gimmick and has gone to a more subtle route as a normal superstar in XCW, even though he is stalked basically by AJ, <clears throat> he uh, seems to be begrudgingly unhappy in his relationship. And here we go here tonight. These two men one on one. Who will be the United States number one contender? Black Widow or Kirby? You can see the managers of these two men at ringside. 
last week. Widow picking up the victory over Kirby. One on Kirby had hoped to ride momentum from Vengeance into this month, but was unable to do so as he lost right there last week on XCW Saturday Night Main Event. 702-144 saying, be a man and dump AJ. <laughs> the first man that uh, has told him that he should get rid of this lovely diva at ringside. 702-144 chanting on Widow. Venom Widow. Woo! Apparently Doc Hypnotic anti any kind of uh, fiction borrowing in XCW. A swift kick. Does not like any fictional character to be a part of someone's attire. This NXT member not very happy with that. <clears throat> Kirby right there, a huge European uppercut. Both men missed strikes before that European uppercut was able to land on the face of Black Widow. Right there, a huge spinning back heel kick takes down Widow and now Kirby's following it up with an elbow to the back stomping on him as he tried to get to his feet now Kirby trying to set up maybe a DDT or a suplex gets it reversed into a Russian leg sweep Seven zero two one four four wanting to know can he be a manager she's nuts yes she is nuts but can you be a manager uh your wrestler can be a manager of another wrestler if you're friends or a tag team or something, but uh, he'd still have to be a singles competitor in order to be on the roster. Could not simply be a manager only, no. Oh, what a suplex. This guy has strength, that's for sure. Man, DDT right on his face. <clears throat> so unless somebody got a tattoo of that if somebody actually had that tattoo of Venom across their face, then that wouldn't be unoriginal because I know there's a Gears of War logo on one of you guys, and that's technically a fictional uh, thing, a part of a comic, I mean, part of a video game. <clears throat> and I know one of you guys actually has that tattoo, but would that be considered unoriginal? Just checking, Doc Hypnotic. <clears throat> right here, huge clothesline. And yes, I know it's not the same as putting like a character of Marcus Phoenix on the side of your trunks or something. <clears throat> and right here, hold on. Front headlock. Black Widow throwing Kirby to the ropes. Came back uh, unable to connect with the move I believe he was trying to hit, but that European uppercut and throat thrust combination back to back is going to have to do. <laughs> hold on. Huge end of days. This could be the end of the match. Apparently might not have the pin combination. Hold on, AJ in there to help out her man, screaming <clears throat> at Widow. The referee seeing her on the apron, hearing her, telling her to get down. She does not belong right where she does. Oh, back to the head, back to the temple. Screaming at AJ Kirby, taking advantage. And right there, you just saw him clothesline Black Widow off of the apron crashing him down to the mat, but Widow now throws him back into the ring, setting up this move here, a club across the chest, and then big booted him. AJ looked like she might have been uh, about to attack Black Widow. She definitely crazy enough in my mind to be doing that. Look at this, this could be it. <clears throat> Hold on, he's setting up here, oh no. Kirby's in trouble. Oh! Dro that huge drop kick, able to gain extra momentum, going further than the distance of the ring, busting open Kirby. But that's not a again, AJ, this time on the other side of the apron, blocking the official, screaming, yelling at the official, making him pay attention to her Black Widow, furious that she is interfering here tonight. Huge lion salt. Does not link it up into a pin, but going off the ropes again this time, hitting a running senton, crushing the chest of, of Kirby here. Kirby now, what is he setting up here? Is he going for a big swing? Yes, he is. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven rotations finally lets him fall to the mat. Will that be enough? Hold on, he is actually taunting him before going for the pinfall. Did not go for the pinfall after that big swing. Instead chose to taunt Black Widow. I think that was the biggest mistake of the match so far. Hold on, dragging him into the ring. Oh, a huge neck breaker. A rope hung neck breaker off the second rope. Now going for another running senton is Black Widow and he connects again to the midsection of Kirby. Standing over him, it almost looks like he's frozen in place. Kirby on the ground. Kirby finally getting up as Black Widow is not moving. I think he might have actually been weirdly glitched by Universe. He should be good now, but that's one-handed spine buster crushing him to the ground. Kirby needing to take advantage, hit a signature or finisher quick. Hold on, again going for a big swing. Can he do the seven rotations again? No, only able to garner enough strength for three right there. Hold on, running knee to the side of head. Kirby really has taken over ever since that second interference by AJ. Widow finally able to block that move. Hold on, running a strike, reverse, one, two. No, only a two count. Hold on, he flips it up into a reversal pin of his own. AJ on the apron, screaming, causing that move to be broken up again. The referee has got to send this, this insane woman out of here. She is constantly helping out her man, but in the end, it's gonna cause a big rift. Hold on, Superman punch avoided by Black Widow now going, is this a submission hold? Oh no, but that has gotta jack up your elbow. You see him on the ground trying to get feeling back in his arm after that brutal move from Justin, I mean, excuse me, from Black Widow. And right here we have uh, Kirby fighting back with that gut kick. I think had a signature reverse there. Black Widow setting up. End of days. That's got to be the end of this match here. Going No, instead of going for a pinfall, runs off the ropes, hit us. A running senton. I don't know why he didn't go for the pinfall. Oh, setting up the finish. Three straight moves could end this match. Black Widow, no. Wait, yes. Locks in the Black Widow submission hold. The name named after himself and is, is Kirby gonna tap? Kirby's not tapping. How is he not tapping so far? I can't believe this. No, Black Widow not able to make Kirby tap on that move. I thought for sure he was over. Might get the pin though. One, two, no. Kirby survives a signature, a running senton and then the Black Widow submission hold. Black Widow is unable to get him to tap. Great job by Kirby, just simply surviving. One, two, still in this match. This has been a great main event of Raw. And hold on, going, I think for a submission hold, maybe dragging him to the center of the ring now. What is he going for? No, oh, this is a curb stomp. Oh, that's gotta be it. That bloody face once again pounded into the mat as long as he can cover him before he is moving. One, two, three. Once again, Black Widow defeating Kirby here tonight. What looked like a promising turnaround for the career of Kirby with the manager AJ in his corner and a great win at Vengeance has not turned out to be what he expected. Back to back weeks losing here in XCW including his shot at the under, I mean at the United States Championship that honor goes here to Black Widow who moves on to face Sammy Danger at Capital Punishment this right here is when AJ would get kicked out of the match for once again interfering with the official this Black Widow is when I thought the match was over but it was this move right here that did it the curb stomp stomping that face once again into the mat and moments later after recovering just enough energy drops onto the ground covering Kirby for the three count three counts what an outstanding match. Black Widow raising his hand hold on Kirby here tonight giving congratulations to his opponent even though he lost here not maybe because AJ was not at ringside I don't know if AJ 
would want him congratulating an opponent, but here he is tonight congratulating the man who took away his shot at the end, the United States Championship. <clears throat> Interesting development in the relationship between Kirby and AJ. No telling exactly what AJ is going to do now that Kirby did not get that opportunity. Both of them were hoping he would. Now eat your mates. Gets the Black Widow moniker. Okay, we are going to move on to our next show, Saturday Night Main Event. <clears throat> we will have superstars competing who have not competed yet. I guess it's all one-on-ones. Good. That's what I wanted. One-on-one -on -one matchups here tonight. We are going to see... <clears throat> A debut here in XCW. We're going to see Jay Lyons compete here tonight. Or no, you know what? We're going to have CJ competing against him instead. CJ Lyons competing one-on-one -on -one here tonight at his ringside is going to be his diva manager, Paige. We saw CJ carted off last month at a... Uh, not last month. Uh, last week after the main event, luckily... Uh, was not as serious as originally expected. Oh, wait. He wanted uh, Emma as his manager, I believe. If I am wrong, he is not here in the chat here tonight to confirm it. But I'm almost certain that he had said that he had wanted Emma as his manager. So I will give him Emma as his manager here tonight. And if that is wrong, we will simply not have Emma be his manager in the future. Let's go ahead and save that matchup for the first Match of the night. Yes, CJ Lyons will be competing here in that first matchup. <clears throat> in our main event, we will have... Brent Ryder take on... Let's have his manager, Chris Cryptic. I mean, his tag team partner, Chris Cryptic, at his side. And he will take on... Wolf one on one. We have seen him pin Wolf before in tag team action, but these two have never faced off one on one before. And we're going to see his partner, Phantom, at his ringside. Where is Phantom? I probably passed him six times now. There he is, Phantom. Remember, the Disciples of Darkness, Wolf and Phantom, will be defending their tag team titles in that tag team title gauntlet next week. Next episode, which will be on Monday night, um, <clears throat> the XCW episode 33 will be on Monday night, Central Time, that is. Okay, here we go. Last matchup of the evening will be one-on-one. -on -one. It will be Jay Lyons taking on... I think King Wombo is probably the only man who hasn't had a match. You know what? No, Nick, Nick Nitro hasn't. So we're going to give it to Nick Nitro here tonight. Nick Nitro taking on a Wolfpack member one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to see CJ and Jay in singles competition <clears throat> facing different members of the XCW universe. Then we're going to see the Vigilantes taking on the Wolfpack. I'm sorry, we're going to see the Vigilantes taking on the Disciples of Darkness in one-on-one -on -one competition. All of these tag team competitors definitely needing to get ready to fight next week in that tag team gauntlet. Let's go ahead and jump into the action. The 
J is yeah, I C J and J is West Carson CAD fifty. When we originally started here in XCW, uh, and technically still exist, you can any one individual can have a single superstar or a tag team of superstars. And uh, from the beginning, he actually was a singles competitor originally, but in our second week, we picked up his second creator wrestler, J Lions, to add alongside CJ to form the the Pride. The Pride eventually became the Sixth Dynasty, and then quickly joined the Wolf Pack. So CJ and J have definitely evolved over time, trying to finally earn those tag team titles in this gauntlet match next week. Will the Wolfpack members be able to do so? We will find out. But here tonight is Victor Thompson. His uh, <clears throat> We had to say goodbye to XC XCW superstar Alex Davis, who is no longer in XCW. Victor Thompson making his debut here tonight in XCW against CJ Lyons. Okay, trivia question here. In NXT, name somebody, name the only member of the roster on XCW who has competed in NXT. So send it to my, send it to my gamer tag image maker or send it to me on the website to image aka the broadcaster name the only member of the NXT roster who has competed on XCW not the current NXT roster but anybody who has ever appeared on the NXT show who has competed in XCW right here CJ making his entrance tonight for the first time in this purple attire trying to match that of his manager page it's a great way to send a message you see that giant wolf across his chest not only is it a message that the wolf pack is here in force tonight but also a message possibly to the tag team champion wolf that they are here to finally take them down Brian leaving no stone unturned. Brian Twitter Nash still sending me trivia questions even when other people are not. Lucian198 saying start the match. We will start the match as soon as these entrances finish. We simply have three matches left, left on this episode of XCW. Here on our first bout of Saturday Night Main Event. Raw just concluding just a little bit ago. Accompanied by Emma from Parts Unknown. Victor Thompson. Here comes Victor, Victor Thompson to the ring. <clears throat> CJ has competed against most of the roster here in XCW, but he has obviously never faced this man who is making his debut here in XCW. Can you join the Pride? Well, the Pride technically no longer exists, well, at least not with that name. The Pride which was CJ and J Lyons, uh, changed their name to the 6th Dynasty. And then after changing their name to the 6th Dynasty, joined inside the Wolfpack. So technically, it's kind of like the end, the New Age Outlaws. People, people still call them New Age Outlaws, even though they were part of DX. So they're still the 6th Dynasty, but they are also members of the Wolfpack. If you wanted to join the Wolfpack, you would have to talk to probably CJ, or at the very least, Alpha One, uh, I don't know if there's technically a leader of the Wolf Pack, where if they're simply a pack that is tight as a group. Here we go, jumping into the action. Tornado in the chat saying that he likes this CJ outfit the best. I'm not sure if I agree. I do very much enjoy this outfit. It is a great outfit by CJ. In fact, the first time that we are seeing it here alive on XCW, uh, I'd have to compare the two side by side, maybe 
to really get a feel for it, but it is definitely a great attire. Shani82 and uh, CJ are in the chat. If you want to join them, you probably want to do it uh, talking to them uh, via messages on Xbox Live or in a party and not want to do so in the chat. Joining people in the chat never seems to work out. We've had a... <laughs> we've actually had a stable form and break up. A four-man stable form in the chat and break up before a pay-per-view ended. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. Early on, Victor able to uh, get CJ into the corner, but CJ immediately gets hit with that atomic drop taken down by Victor. CJ fighting back, though, pulls out something from his trunks. Once again, the referee not seeing the illegal object that CJ is pulling out to launch his opponents viciously across the ring. I swear, I, I think it's brass knuckles, but I have a hard time seeing exactly what it is. Maybe the only reason the official did not call it is because he himself, like I could not tell exactly what he was using to, again, doing it though. What is going on? The referee has got to find a way to catch CJ in the act right there, reversing that hilarious attempt into a nice spinning neck breaker. Hold on, nice trip right there, taking CJ to the ground, curbing his momentum. We can see Emma at ringside for Victor and Paige at ringside for CJ. This is definitely an interesting matchup here. A good back elbow as he pulled CJ toward himself. Reversed by Sokolov. Hey, wait a minute, what's he doing here? CJ hitting that great Russian leg sweep, taking him down to the ground very hard. CJ following it up with that kick to the gut. Oh no, Victor has never seen this before, and he should not he should know now after that if he ever kicks you in the gut, you do not keep sitting up. You know that he is gonna taunt you and then come right back at you, like I just said, and Victor unable to avoid it. You've got to pay attention when CJ is kicking you in the gut to make you sit up. There's only one thing that's going to happen. Going for it again, Victor has got to recover. Unable to avoid those obvious strikes. Oh, the slap by CJ. Maybe initiating the rookie into XCW here. Saying, here you go, rookie. Now try to win this match because I'm not going to give you an inch. That double axe handle right there to the side of the head. It's got to have been brutal. CJ throwing him off the ropes. Hold on. Exploder suplex. Great move by CJ. What an impact from the knee. <clears throat> CJ now trying to set up a move in the center of the ring. And instead, a Russian leg sweep takes him to the ground. Followed up by a leg drop. Uh, a quick reminder for those members of the XCW roster. If you think that you have earned a extra overall point, you can always find those uh, different ways you can do so on the website, xcwuniverse.niceboard.com. If you think that you have gained enough points to gain an overall point, hold on. Pinfall attempt here off that corner move. No, only a one count by uh, Victor. Victor, hold on, setting up. This might be a signature or finisher. Probably a signature, but hold on, lifting up with that jackhammer, vicious mover, locks in the leg. One, two, oh, almost pins an XCW veteran, one of the few men to be here since episode one. CJ, though, right there, has a chance for a comeback attempt. Oh, hits that huge diving forearm, another running forearm, this time ducks under, huge spine buster to complete that comeback. And what is this, sending him to the corner now. Crawling, trying to get away from CJ. CJ setting this up, what is this gonna be? Oh no, it's his face wash. Oh, vicious boot to the side of the face. But right there we see now the exact same thing we just saw from CJ. Try to, hold on, reverses that comeback attempt. One, two, oh, almost got the pin on it. One, two, oh, CJ also. Almost getting pinned there off that reversal. Going for a side slam and hits it hard. 
Going for a pinfall here. One, two, no, just a one count. CJ able to kick out pretty early in that. I am surprised after the beating both of these men have taken so far. Knocking him back with a bunch of strikes. Finally, CJ able to block them. Goes for a running lariat, does not connect. And now about to pay for it with another side slam. Going again for the pinfall is Victor. One, just a two count. Oh, huge suplex with a rollover. Oh my gosh, he gets the win with that move. Did you see that? That suplex followed up by rolling over to make the cover immediately, not allowing any time for him to uh, take a breather or wait a moment for something else to happen. You'll see it in a minute. Right here was the roll up, which got a two count, which got flipped over into a roll up of his own with also just a two count side slam right there hopefully you'll see in a moment right here it is that suplex with a rollover really really quickly I don't think CJ expected it to happen as you see see him right there at the end trying to kick out as Victor picked up a victory not a good sign for the Wolfpack heading into that match next week it should be great the question is will this make a difference or will the Wolfpack still find a way to move on and fight well for those tag team championships I don't know why Paige didn't help this time Paige normally jumping on the ring apron yelling and screaming at the official similar to AJ did not help out here tonight during this match when CJ was in trouble We are seeing Jay Lyons and Nick Nitro one-on-one -on -one here tonight. This will definitely be an interesting matchup here. <laughs> you're going to join the Wolfpack and you don't care what anyone says, even if you're not even technically on the roster yet. <laughs> Page 31, my ankle hurt. <laughs> That's funny that we have somebody named Paige right when we're talking about her. Paige was at ringside during that matchup. Uh, I don't think this is the actual Paige here in XCW, but definitely maybe a fan of the Paige from WWE. We see Jay making his way out to the ring here tonight. He is all about business. Maybe listening to some Dre on his beats right there as he makes his way out to the ring to compete. Jay in singles action has been known to uh, definitely strike some fear into the hearts of his opponents, but uh, does not necessarily have the best one-on-run record here in XCW. <clears throat> but the men he has defeated have definitely remembered the loss when it happens. Sure is it shy about sharing their feelings about this 
Oh, here we go, Nick Nitro heading down to the ring. Definitely ready to get back into action. Nitro came up short against King Wimbo last week. Still unable to shake that losing streak of his since his return. Looking to do that here tonight against CJ. I'm sorry, against Jay. Jay wanting to maybe get back that momentum that his brother lost in that last matchup. This could be a very important match for the Wolfpack heading into that tag team gauntlet next week. As the bell rings, remember that there's no guarantee Here we go, jumping into the action. Immediately, both men locking up. up. Unable to uh, either man get an advantage, had to let go. Nitro, though, gets behind the much larger Jay. Takes him to the ground impressively there. Jay getting squeezed across the belly. And now being tossed down to the mat, Nitro showing off quite a bit of power here as he hits a drop kick to the knee of JJ, refusing to go down. Takes down Nick Nitro right there. Impressive maneuver. Jay now dragging him to the center of the ring. King Tony 3324 wants me to say his name. Hey, King Tony 3324. Nice to see. A new face in our XCW episode 32 chat here tonight. Have seen a number of new people swing by, but uh, nice to see you all the same. Shanny82 is not taking any new members at this time. <laughs> But to put it mildly, <laughs> are you saying the Wolfpack is not taking any new members at this time? <laughs> they would uh, thank you for the love, but to put it mildly, hell no, I believe is what he said. Can't actually see what he wrote. Right here, Jay dragging Nitro to the center of the ring, now lifting him up with those massive biceps and crushing him back into the mat with that huge pickup power bomb. Both men back to their feet. Jay rocking Nitro against the apron. Nitro able to catch his foot. What an athletic move by the big man. Jay did not see that coming after his foot was caught. Went, flipped himself over and used the back of his other heel to take the head off of Nick Nitro. Nitro taking advantage of a couple of good moves, but right here gets this one removed, I mean reversed. Not today, too fast. The big boot, what a sickening impact. <sighs> Nitro on top at the moment with that diving forearm. Lifting up Jay, going for a huge haymaker. Jay inside, instead blocks and hits one of his own. Now pummeling the face of Nitro. Jay really needs to pick up the morale of his group, the Wolfpack. Definitely want to win this matchup here tonight to allow that to happen. Although we did see Wolfpack member Alpha 1 survive in that fatal four-way elimination match. One member down. Next week we will see a triple threat with another member of that United States, I mean that undisputed championship number one contendership gone, I mean uh, tournament if they're going to be able to uh, survive and get to the finals. I yawned a lot of times earlier, and I've probably muted like 30 yawns. If you see a break in the action more than usual tonight, it's because of that. And that huge spinning cutter might be the end for Nitro. One, two, no. Nitro somehow 
but just enough strength to pop out of that. Setting up a finishing maneuver now. Lifting him up in the air. F5, is that the end for Nick Nitro? One, two, three, and that is it. 